guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shandera. Make sure you subscribe, click that subscribe button so you can get more videos from me. And let's get into our makeup haul. Now, this time around when I bought a lot of makeup products, I bought just eyeshadows, I bought a highlight, and lipstick. So this is just gonna be a full lipstick eyeshadow makeup haul. And of course, all the products are either vegan, cruelty-free, or green natural beauty. So the first product I wanna talk, talk about is the one I've been using the most, and it's this lip tint by uh, Munero Fish Fusions. For my uh, lip color, it's mostly like a lip gloss. As you guys can see, I'm gonna swatch it. See, it's really very sheer on me, and it looks really good. Uh, but I mostly use it as a um, lip gloss. I love the way it makes my lips feel. And I've been really, just really enjoying it. And I got it about a week ago. So I've been using it a lot lately. So that's why it's in the... Okay, the next products that I got are these eyeshadows by Honey Bee Gardens. Now, if many of you don't know, Honey Bee Gardens is this uh, cosmetic company. And they're based in Philly. And it's a really small indie brand that makes really awesome cruelty-free and vegan products. So even though the name is Honeybee. Most of her products are cruelty free and vegan. And I got some of the eyeshadows. Well, actually, I just got two eyeshadows. I also got a lipstick that I'm going to show you guys. And these eyeshadows are really, they're highly pigmented, as you guys can see. And for these eyeshadows, I haven't tried them on yet. But I've been, for some odd reason, you guys, I'm really, really obsessed with eyeshadows lately. Like, any eyeshadow I just totally want to buy them because I you know I just see so many cool videos with eyeshadows so I'm really getting into doing like really cool looks with eyeshadows so I just have so many eyeshadows I want to show you but I really like these because they're heavy heavy pigmented and also just wet them what I did notice with these when I use them just once is that if you wet them with just a little water and you put them on you they swatch much better or they put on your eyelid a little better better than when you do with um without anything and just putting it on your eye dry now i am totally off with the eyeshadow so i'm just gonna do the eyeshadows and we get it to lips because i feel like i'm switching i'm doing lips then eyeshadows then lips then eyeshadow <laughs> so you guys are just gonna do eyeshadows first so the next eyeshadow palette I got, oh Lord, I don't want anything to fall, so. The next eyeshadow palette that I did get, focus. So the next eyeshadow palette that I did get is from e.l.f. and it's their Bright Collection. And I really wanted to try this pal palette because I really love the bright colors. And even though we're going into fall, I feel like these colors are so for fall. But for some odd reason, uh, I've been trying this palette and I really don't want to say if I don't like it. I tried this color you guys can see. I want to show you guys what colors I've been trying. This color and I tried the pink, I mean this shade color here. And they're not really pigmented and I don't know why. They do look kind of pigmented but I think it's my brushes. So let me tell you guys. Let me just give you a, a vice with brushes. Do not buy cheap brushes. I bought this like 20 piece set, uh, it's Vanderbilt. I know many of you've seen it on eBay. I was needing more brushes because my other brushes were getting pretty worn out. And I was like, let me just buy these brushes just to last me. Those brushes are horrible, they're very dry. Uh, they're very rough. They just do not work. So sometimes it may not be the eyeshadow. It just may be the brush that is not helping you with the pigmentation. I know many of you know this, but just if you don't, for personal advice, even if you just need some brushes to last you until you get your really good brushes, do not buy cheap brushes. I am still telling you guys right now. Just don't even waste the money. It's not worth it. The Vanderbilt brushes just so suck. They do, you guys. No one understands how much those brushes suck. But I'm really excited for this palette. I think I'm going to get some more brushes pretty soon so I can try more colors. And we can do really good tutorials on eyeshadow. So the next eyeshadow, all, all lips are falling everywhere. 
So the next eyeshadow palette that I did get is by Pixie. Many of you know Pixie is cruelty free. They're not really green beauty, but they are cruelty free. And this eyeshadow is really fall. Like I have used it only a few times. And look at these colors, you guys. This is so winter and fall. I love blues eyeshadow i don't know i just think blue eyeshadow is so beautiful and so pretty so i'm really excited to get into these colors especially this one because it's like a mermaid blue if you guys can see i don't know if you see the shift but you see that gold it is just so beautiful look at how beautiful you guys just amazing i want to swatch it it is just lovely it's like a gold mermaid pinkish color. It is just beautiful. So I'm really excited to get into this palette. I've only tried a few colors and I've tried the dark blue right here and it just made my eyes just feel so beautiful. So lovely. <laughs> so I'm really excited for this palette. Now, I wanna show you guys the highlighter that I got. Um, this is an e.l.f. highlighter and I bought it about a few weeks ago and I am not really loving this product. There is no pigmentation, you guys, whatsoever. Uh, I don't know, e.l.f., what, what's going on with this product, but you guys, let me just swatch it for you real quick so you guys can see. Like, there's not, no highlight. Look at this. Like, no highlight whatsoever. I even tried one of my good highlight brushes that you just glide off of it and try to highlight. There is no highlight on this whatsoever. I feel like this is a waste of money. This e.l.f. product is... I just don't like this highlight whatsoever. It is called Blush Gems, and it's from their Baked Collection. And I'm just not loving it. If you guys have tried it, let me know what you think. Even when I try... I'm... Maybe I got a bad batch because I'm always like, maybe I got a bad batch or something. But it's just not, it's not there. Like, even on the skin, you can't see. Look at this. Like, look at nothing. There's no highlight whatsoever. So I'm kind of pretty bummed out about this. This is not what I was expecting. But I still include it in my haul because I did haul this. And I really wanted to love it. And even though I did not like it, it's still in the haul for the fact that, I don't know, maybe I'll find a use for it. I don't know. Sometimes you find a use for makeup. So I don't know. So we're going to roll with it, you guys. Okay, so the next product, now we're getting to the lips. Um, this is a Zao lip liner. I haven't tried this yet, but it's a really pretty color and I'm really loving it, you guys. I know many of you seen it in my uh, one of the subscription boxes I did get but it won't focus. So I really am excited to use this product on my lips and it's just, I really like lip pencils. For some odd reason lately, I've just been loving them. And I follow a lip account on Instagram and her, the way she does her lips are so beautiful. So I'm just into the whole lip and eye thing. Like I feel if your lips and your eyes are just lovely, then your face is just beat. <laughs> okay, so that's the what I'm into right now. And this, I got this actually um, in my Good Bean box. This is the uh, Honey Bee Gardens uh, lipstick. And it's in the color Bombshell. Now, you guys, I do have a problem with my lip, uh, box, lip balms lip balms no lipsticks some of my lipsticks i never close them all the way like normally i close them like this instead of going down that way and they always smudge like the tip of this is so smudged right now it makes me sad i hate when my lipsticks do that so now i'm making a note to actually close them all the way so i did get this in a good bean box also i want to let you guys know that i got this at target so it's called their aqua dreams palette and i also got the mineral palette by elf and the elf baked highlighter I got these at uh, the e.l.f. online store, so if you want to try them. I saw good reviews on this baked highlighter, but I'm not really impressed because it doesn't highlight. There's really not a lot of pigmentation on it for me, but I'm going to give it a try. I just told you guys that. And I actually got this on the Mineral Fusions online. Um, I got this on their website as well. So I just want to let you guys know where I got these products from, just in case you asked, and I forgot to tell you guys. So... 
Now, let's talk about a few lipsticks that I did get. Uh, these are from Red Apple Lipstick. I love Red Apple Lipstick. I'm actually wearing the color, which one am I wearing right now? I'm wearing the color Second Date on my lips because this color really looks good on me and I really love this color. I've been wearing it. But the thing is, uh, <laughs> that for some odd reason when I put it on my lips and it was really hot one day and I think I left it somewhere in my bedroom or in the, in the sun somewhere, the sun was like baking. Look what happened you guys, it just looks a mess now. This is my lipstick, half of it is in here, the other half is in here, but I am still using this lipstick. I do not care. What I do is take a lip brush and I put it on my lips just like that. So if you ever have lipsticks that just smudge all the way in and just mess up, then you do that. And it's kind of sad because I spent a lot on this lipstick. So it makes me really, really sad when the lipstick smudges like this. But all in all, this is a great lipstick. This company is actually vegan, cruelty-free, and green beauty. They use natural ingredients in their lipstick so i really love this company and their design for their lips their lipstick containers are just awesome so i haven't tried um so pink and cute which is the most genius name i love that name so pink and cute but this is what it looks like you guys i've been meaning to try it but you know pink doesn't really do me justice yet you see guys it's from the sun that's why it's so smudged but you see how lovely it looks. Pink never really does me justice, but I'm gonna give it a try. It's kind of slanted, so I can't wait till it cools down. I'm really thinking about leaving my lipsticks in the fridge from now on, cause this house just never really cools down to the temperature it's supposed to. So no wonder in the winter I'm always freezing. <laughs> you guys, I am always cold in the winter. It's no even joke. So, uh, so Pink and Cute is the one I haven't tried. I'm wearing second day. And I think it's fading a little bit, but I really love this color. And another one I got is Risqué. This is sort of like a coral peach. I haven't tried it yet, but I, I'm really excited. I, it's like a coral peach lipstick to me. See you guys, let's, you see. And on their lipsticks, they always have their logo you see how pretty that is. So I'm so mad I messed second date up. Of course, the smudge one is actually my favorite. I haven't tried these yet. I'm probably gonna give them a try. And so far, that's what's in my vegan cruelty-free makeup haul. Uh, thanks so much for watching me to the end of this video, you guys. I really appreciate it. So let me know what vegan products you guys are into, what you're loving this winter, I mean summer. I feel like we're already in fall. Everyone's talking about fall but me because it's 106 degrees out. So let me know what you're loving, what products, what trends you're into in the vegan, cruelty-free, green beauty community. And I'll see you in our next video, you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Bye.